Harris County. And, and for those of you who are not from Texas, uh, let me repeat that the fact that I'm county judge, I'm not really a judge. Any other part of the country, I'd be called the county executive. But Harris County is the third largest county in the United States. We have four million people here, so this is a good place to, uh, to, to come today. But the real reason I think that I get trotted out at these kind of events is, like so many families, we have a very, very personal interest in preventing children from drowning. Some of you have heard this story several times. You'll get to hear it again. <clears throat> when my youngest daughter was two years old, almost three, my wife and I were on a trip. And we came back from that trip, and as we walked in the house, literally, we got a phone call. And I picked up the phone, and it was the woman who was watching our four children while we were gone. And I'll never forget her words. She said, Mr. Emmett, your daughter just drowned. Now, fortunately, she didn't use the right word. She had not drowned, but she had nearly drowned. And she was in intensive care. And it was a situation that is so apropos to what we're doing here today. She was at the neighborhood club sitting on the side of a hot tub, people all around, eating a hot dog. And when the woman watching her turned away for just a second, she slipped and fell under the water. And when the woman turned back around, she thought maybe Patricia had gotten up and walked away. It took a couple of minutes. The lifeguard fortunately saw the whole thing and within two and a half to three minutes had her out of the water and fortunately, uh, she's doing very well today. She's 25 years old and married. Our story ended well. Other stories don't end well, which is why I will talk about this subject anytime, any place, because it can happen to any family. And if we can prevent these from happening, that's what we need to be doing.